Okay, so today I'll be continuing my little permadeath deck round robin thing that I was doing with like every deck I've ever used in the history of me playing this game, which is, hasn't really been that long, like from the end of 2022 till now, so like a year and a half, and again, it's been like sort of short, irregular sessions, but what's ironic about using these is like, oh, I'll go through every single one in my collection, at least that I've made myself, but so many of them are similar, and they're mostly like about my few favorite mechanics, like Hexproof, or Dinosaurs, or just stuff that's sort of well statted, which usually is Dinosaurs, and usually like Ramp and Green and stuff, and so the point is that a lot of them are almost very similar, but I've been doing it exclusively in the best of three format and in the timeless format. And so once this is over, when I run out of decks, which there's not that many left, like maybe two or three, then I'll have to commit to, okay, now I won't use green anymore. And then I'll focus on other colors, which I've neglected pretty much the whole time that I played this game. It doesn't mean I can't still use some of the same cards. And it doesn't mean I can't still use some of the same mechanics. Like, you know, I can still use dinosaurs. I can still use hexproof, but... In fact, that might be that might end up being exactly what I do. I'll use like still some sort of hex proof, uh, but no, I'll, I'll make something different that I haven't ever used before, which wouldn't be that hard to do because new offers every day, all is dust. So today, where I live at least, there was this whole big thing about the solar flare, the solar flare, Dragon Ball Z, the solar eclipse, and that's because actually, what I forgot is. This will sort of coincide with the beginning of the next expansion, right? Because that should be like this week or next week um, where you're able to... I'll do another 10k draft when that starts, but whatever. It doesn't mean I'll lose the psych on purpose. That one is actually pretty sick. But no, there, there was the solar eclipse, so everybody's going crazy about that with their glasses and <clears throat> don't look or you'll go blind and all this kind of stuff. That one looks pretty cool. Um, I, I mean, I can afford to do this since I have the 10k in reserve, but I kind of like both of these, as dumb as that seems. I've been a sucker for cosmetics in a first playthrough, free-to-play, whatever the fuck, but... Uh, the Fallout one I would get if I could get it with fucking 15k gold or 10k gold or something. But no, this expansion didn't interest me at all, really. Like, even when I did the draft, I like the premise of it, because I'm a big fan of detective games and stories and stuff like that, but... When I did the 10k draft, there was nothing in there that, like, made me want to keep it or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to draft this because, you know, in the 10k draft, you get to add it to your collection. Even the card bat, or I mean, even the cosmetics here, like from the orb, okay, seven days, so it'll be next week. Um, you know, this one was kind of okay, but normally the last couple of expansions, I've been making a point to do the daily quest every time and trying to save up for those 35 thing. But this one, I've had no interest in doing that, which I kind of like. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Wait, are they actually seriously copying? I thought that guy was joking. When I accused... <coughs> when I accused the murder at whatever, Carlisle Manor, of copying... Of copying Hearthstone. Like, obviously, Hearthstone was accused of copying magic over the years, like, originally, with his intention, which is very true and fair. But then when... <laughs> then when... Somebody put a comment like, oh, they're going to copy the one to do with the Badlands, right? The whole fucking Western vibe, right? Hey, stars, how's it going? Just got paid. Nice. The, I thought he was joking in the comments, but actually they are copying that. Then that means because it's like, oh, it's a Badlands type of thing. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Now, that doesn't mean that these cards and ideas aren't part of their ingrained lore, but it does, the timing of it seems uncanny because we just got over that one in Hearthstone. So they copy that one, they copy this one. So it comes full circle. The game that Hearthstone copied ends up copying it. And I've always said that with like the cosmetics, cosmetics and the presentation of the game, like in the digital space, but it's kind of sad to see that they do it in this way too. So how many decks are actually left? And you would have to go in the timeless format to actually see that. Traditional timeless. I'm pretty sure at least I lost the last one. If not, I guess I could continue with it. I just assume I always lose with them. Actually, I'll have to go back and check my thing really quick. But yeah, which ones would we have left? Because it would be like from the back here. We started with nest birds and we went through all these. Uh, some of them might be a little bit similar. I'm actually not even sure. Probably like these two are left. I, I can't remember how this works. Like the ones that you haven't... No, wait. No, I think... I think it would be like this. 
like these two would be left and then this is where it starts with the ones that I've already used. I can't even keep track because I feel like I must have used one of these honestly. At the beginning, uh, I don't even know. Some of them have ended so quickly that I can't even keep track. <laughs> Maybe not what. But yeah, you didn't get to see the eclipse thing. I mean, I got to see it, but I didn't really pay attention to it much. So I'll have to see. Let, let me check my VOD, at least for the last one, to see what my little... Uh, whether I won or lost, but I think these two would be the ones that would make sense because... Oh, and we got like some kind of troll cosmetic, like a stupid rock for April Fool. Oh, you got paid, you didn't get paid, then you did get paid. He's not sure. Timeless uses every card on Magic Gathering Arena, which again, I thought that's what Historic was, but I guess there's still some limitation with it. But you would think I'd be getting my ass beat even harder here than normal. But it's the fact that, you know, whatever, because it's people be using all kind of cheese things. But it hasn't been that bad, really. Or I guess I can't tell the difference because that normally happens to me anyway. Again, it wouldn't be these because these wouldn't show up as you've used them. So the only ones I think I haven't used are those two. Let me actually look it up really quick just to see like what the last uh, result was, basically, whether it's... I'm assuming it's a loss. Why did you not look at the Eclipse? Because I would go blind if I did. But no, I didn't have the special glasses or whatever either for it, so... I didn't really care too much. But no, it was kind of a cool effect. Like, everything went dark all of a sudden out of the blue, and then... It only lasted like a minute or something. Buy some glasses, it's a little bit too late for that now. Yeah, everybody's making a big deal. They're going to, like, Niagara Falls and all this shit. Or, no, wait, this was the April Fool stupid thing that I was doing to get the cosmetic. So where was actually the last one? Damn, how would I even tell what is what here? April Fool's Golden Sealed. I spent more time last time just doing that. <clears throat> Can't even tell which is like my own deck or not. Most of these don't really look like they are. Maybe I only played like one set of it, but I'm assuming I probably still lost. But you know what's been really bad is when I... Um, I'll play as a deck, but I, not only will I lose the best of three, but I won't even win like one game within the best of three. And then I became just obsessed with that stupid cosmetic. It's like a little, I, I guess I can show it, this little Dwayne Rock troll thing. So between that and some other cosmetic, we could have like a troll troll fiesta where all our cosmetic, cosmetics are just troll related. Let's see, what did we actually use here? So I think it was the Q1. No, it was three. Or no, maybe I was confused the same way as last time. Yeah, it would just be these last two, like new deck 24 and Q2, I guess, would be the the last two. Right, because we did lose with that one. When was it? Like, probably, for me, like at 3 o'clock, something like that, 3 in the day. So, I could kind of see it outside, just where it went dark for a second. Yeah, I guess it would be different depending on what part of the state and stuff that you're in but no there was actually a lot of traffic and tourist buzz just like somehow people actually coming from i guess maybe we got it better than most places so like other tur tourists and stuff were around i'm kind of confused by this a little bit did i use the q2 at the beginning or not i this is a problem i won't even remember like how would i go back and what the hell even is this? But no, I'll definitely stop pretty much at this one. I feel like I did use this at the beginning. But maybe it gets like one extra last gasp life then. So we'll go with these two and that'll be it. So as long as I win. 
Yeah, he could fly halfway around the world if it ends up being there and buying glasses in the meantime. It's just one of these stupid things, like, it shows you the aimlessness of people, like, oh, some random event's happening, and I'm not saying you can't appreciate it, but it's like, the, the amount of obsession or, you know, effort and fixation that people have on it shows you, like, oh, you had nothing better to do today anyway, so just go fucking do that, or travel around the world to see it. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but... Yeah, play first. This is fine. I really can't remember whether I played as a Q2 thing or not, though. I think I did, because I think I started with the little rainbow dinosaur thing that I had been doing. So maybe this will be the last one, but let's... Uh, I don't know, because I don't want to feel like I'm invalidating the format by repeating a deck but basically we are pretty much done with it you know what i could check is i could actually check like my youtube and then i would have to go and see whatever let's try to assume this one's gonna last the whole episode anyway which wouldn't be much of an accomplishment especially within the best of three format because it's not gonna be that long of an episode anyway oh yeah i wanted to show oh yeah this is the other troll card back thing this thing plus the fucking rock I've never used like this high these hybrid lands that everybody's so crazy about. But I guess it's because I normally don't use hybrid decks either, period, but I'm gonna probably have to start. But I'll have to really blacklist green. Because I've used it a little bit too much over time. Draw a card for each other dinosaur you control, whatever. I mean why you wouldn't do the five mana ten ten there is beyond me, but. This is fine. That's not really going to do anything. When it dies, deal damage equal to its power to any target. Kill my little mana generating clown minion. And see, not only do I not have many spells myself as removal and things like that, but start a card, take three damage is fine. But I also prevent my opponent from even doing that at all. Okay, we already win that one just because the ramp is on fleek over here. What a surprise that I would use that card given the nature of my deck because it's fucking... Wait a second, what even... Is this the one that I was meant to use? I can't even keep track of these because it's not like my collection is very organized. I'm assuming this is the correct one, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll invalidate my whole fucking format by doing this. Yeah, let's use that stupid rock thing too, and then... They gave up pretty easily though on that one. Usually these people have crazy comebacks in them, but I guess they just didn't have an answer or... And I very, rarely got a chance to use him, even though he's been in there since I... Well, I guess I haven't used this deck that much, but... He's been in there since he came out pretty much, so... I just never got a chance to have 8 mana or... Either you end up winning or losing before then, so... It is kind of a busted effect, though. And that's where I'm objective. Even if it benefits me, and oh yeah, look how what a cool, strong dinosaur it is. With the crazy effect. I'm actually less a fan of effects than I am of, you know, just pure statting and, and efficiency and ramp and stuff like that. Or the effect that would negate other effects, like hexproof, not like... Just summon everything from your hand for free. Like, what the fuck? That's way too strong, and it kind of subverts even the dinosaur element to where... You know, you'd be able to basically... Say, like, even if you're not using dinosaurs, you could still do it, right? But any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. So I'm sure it appears in all kinds of other decks. Okay. Um, it appears in all kinds of other decks where... What do you call it? Like, it has nothing to do with dinosaurs. It's just a good effect, period. Some kind of one-shot, crazy, you know, combos that I'm sure that effect would be good for. So those are two very one-sided games. But, whatever. We just have to get off to a really good start. A 
I was thinking of doing something for my Wednesday, like I'll try to incorporate either my Switch or like my PS3. I'm trying to rotate through like every... I used my PS5 for the one last week, which was for what? Uh, I, I did Rocket League and then I did something else. Or no, that, that was last week. I did Rocket League and then I did... What did I use the Xbox for? Oh, that, that was for Saturday. I did my Starfield. And then, yeah, now I'll try to incorporate the other two consoles that I have and fucking never use, like the Nintendo Switch and the PS3, which the PS3 mainly I would do for like my Red Dead series, Red Dead Bounty Hunter, something like that. We gotta get off to a crazy Rip star, which wouldn't be actually that hard to do, but they had a pretty c crazy combo last time where they could just use stuff as a removal. Okay, just go for that. Get it out there quickly. Make them want to quit again. Bring out Galta. At least I give them the satisfaction of the win, though. I'm not going to just quit out. Just like how I'm so honorable in chess, except that can be very triggering as well. We get the top card, draw something. A lot of the time, yeah, like I don't even process what's happening or what they're doing because it's just like, it doesn't even really matter. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Aren't it Tyrant you could almost do? That's two us to cast. If it targets the dinosaur, you control. So what we could do is we could do this. Death touch at the beginning. Deal three who didn't. Plus one, plus one. The creature fights target creature you don't control. We could even do menace because whatever. It doesn't affect this. You just kind of have to go for it. Even if you want to use the death touch, be my guess. Like, I don't care. It's still going to hit you in the face for an adequate amount. Like, the point is I don't feel like I can wait too long. He's going to end up destroying me if I don't do something. So I end up playing it kind of like an aggro deck because whatever crazy shit he's doing is going to be too much for me to handle now in the long term. Or, oh shit, that menace is going to get through though still. That touch. Okay, this time I wouldn't be able to tank that effect for the three to the face, but maybe you don't need to. Oh, shit. Four, five, six. Oh, no way. No way. Are you telling me I should lose because of that? It would have been seven, eight, even if I blocked the three and I couldn't block the menace. Well, I guess that could be the end of it. Yeah, what, what would I have to look at to show... Fuck. What would I have to look at to show? I'd, I'd have to go back in my YouTube. I should always show this, but I guess I'm too lazy to even do it. I'd have to go back to when this format started to see what was the first deck that I used. But I'm pretty positive it was the one that is like... The Q2 thing, right? So let's see, what, what deck even was that that I just used? New deck 24, like these are not very organized. So pretty much the gauntlet is over and we didn't do particularly well with any of these decks, but they are some of my favorite ones for sure. I love how you can look up like your exact channel name verbatim, but it'll still show you other shit, right? Like oh, yes, nobody's ever going to look up my exact channel because I'm a nobody clown and nobody cares about me. But if somebody happened to, they still wouldn't see my channel. That's the sad part. At least if they look at it so... So exactly. Is it just me or did this expansion copy Hearthstone? Let, let me look through all like my magic titles and read through them. And then we'll make like some sort of deck for next time with some other color that I've never used before. Name of this expansion refers to what happened in my first draft. Murder at Karlov Manor. But not for me. Permanent decks return in my biggest round robin yet. Okay. So this is the one. And so now this one is going to be... Um... We'll, we'll just have to see which the first deck I used was. I assume this would correspond. So, new deck 28. But wait. 
you wait that still doesn't tell you though i'm so confused i use new deck 28 here and then nespers but i don't know whether q2 was actually in there so it would be still the one before that kind of a cool oh yeah of course that didn't uh like <laughs> even though the name the name of this video is the name of this expansion refers to what happened in the draft that was referring to what happened in the last episode so it doesn't mean i did the draft in this episode it's kind of confusing all right so timeless format we did nespers maybe i didn't do q2 or maybe i did it before that and i still it couldn't be though i don't get it Maybe that will be the last one that I do then. Let's actually read through some of these though. I kind of don't even want to bother trying to make a new deck. Next time we can do the 10k draft, then I'll make a new deck the time after that. So that I'm able to actually fucking... Whatever. Like then I'll be able to actually... Do that as like a new thing so it won't be a part of the gauntlet or whatever. Did this expansion copy Hearthstone? How could it be this far back that we... Maybe started at. Or did the draft really last this long even? I haven't been doing particularly well in these drafts anyway. Traditional draft murders at Carlisle Manor. How many games did I even win in that? I can't even tell. So yeah, as far as I can tell, I didn't use the Q2. And so that will be the final one that I use. If I did, then I'm not sure, right? But whatever. I don't see it, actually. But that really would have been. So we went all the way from New Deck 28 through all these. And I might have skipped one of these because they were, like, all the same or something. But... Or maybe I didn't even use this one. It's very hard to keep track of this. I would have needed, like, some sort of spreadsheet or something. But whatever. The Q2 will be the final one that we use. And... See how far we can go with it. But yeah, let me re recap my titles here. Like I was doing with my WoW Hardcore series or something. Magic Gathering Arena Episode 1. Okay, Card Game Fanatic embarks on a quest to collect every green card. Which is overall kind of what the one form format for the series actually is. But that'll take forever. Uh, my one year anniversary of playing Magic. Even though it's only Episode 2. Because I just didn't upload shit from it. My third episode is my t second 10k draft. My 10k gold draft ever came at the perfect time for the uh, Magic 30th anniversary. I don't always make new decks, but when I do, it takes the entire episode. That's probably what's going to happen the time after next, I guess. If I craft one more card, it'll be the largest collection I've ever had. That's because that's during the Lord of the Rings thing, so the joke on the meme of that one. If I take one more step, it'll be as far from home as I've ever been. Then forcing myself to play as my least favorite color in Magic, and I don't even specify which one in case it's taken in some other way, like how OBS won't let you put, which won't let you put the word white in the tags, even if it means you're using a white deck in Magic, or any various other application of the word, because it might have some other connotation to it that they don't like, which is not what you're intending to use. Angels, dr dragons, and dinosaurs, quite a combination. Sounds like a good Monday night. The line from Until Dawn. Three decks battle for which color will be the primary in my next upcoming draft, which is not what I've done here, but, you know, leading to this draft, but often I will do that. Before the end of an expansion, I'll play, you know, between a couple different decks, and I'll say, you know, whichever one does best is the color that I'll commit to, at least as the main one, even if I do a hybrid, I'll, I'll fixate on that one more uh, in the next draft. A draft in hand is better than two wins in the books. Just like maybe me saving 10k gold for something. Will I go full goblin? You never go full goblin. The biggest decision of my Magic the Gathering career. My third ever 10k draft or 12k cosmetic. When I fucking <laughs> bought the pumpkin pet. I do about one 10k gold draft for expansion. Me. Also me. 12,000 gold pumpkin pet. Thumbs up. Number 13. Sarkhan is a hot seat as I'm all over my next draft. How, like most of these titles are just very matter of fact saying what I'm doing in them. How long can the Sarkhan deck drag on like dragon? If you wish to experience the magic you must embrace all its aspects. Me in this game green and then with like a whole bunch of green emojis like 
whatever, recycling symbol and stuff. Tim Burton called he wants his card back, the similar to the other one with how it's typed out. Card back, but also like a card back. Like how the one I kept calling that one, uh, whatever, the Tim Burton card back, the one with the sexy skeletons and stuff on it. I was going to make a draft joke, but it's still a work in progress. Ha ha. My third 10k gold draft was the Zixalon, so I must have done four by now, unless I've somehow lost count. Ever is also my first look at the new expansion. Dinosaur Lover tries to avoid becoming a fossil while drooling over the new additions. The real magic is my ability to never get bored of dinosaur decks. Will I finally get... Yeah, and before that's just what I make. Some different color dinosaur deck, but there aren't enough dinosaurs of other colors. Will I finally get to play the new Galta or will he become a fossil first? I kind of used that one too many times, though. That joke. I've used that in my ARC stuff, too. I heard you like Galta, so I'll play Galta so I can summon Galta from my hand. Like the new Galta, so I can summon the old Galta. Will this expansion be the first time I do 10k drafts in one? Two 10k drafts. My Magic the Gathering Arena's New Year resolution is to collect every green card in the game. Oh wait, that's what I <laughs> was trying to do in the first place. What killed the dinosaurs? Definitely not a rainbow. That's when we started trying to use this rainbow dinosaur deck. There's not a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow, only a dinosaur egg. With the power of teamwork, my dinosaurs will deliver me an avatar for the ages. That's obviously the the dinosaur one that we're using now. The reign of dinosaurs come to an end, or is it just the beginning of a new era? Dinosaur extinction recolorized. I was kind of lamenting the end of that expansion for a couple of these. Like, we get the avatar, then the reign of dinosaurs comes to an end, or is it just the beginning of a new era? Dinosaur extinction recolorized. Bootleg Ross Geller recoils in horror. And then, is it just me or is this expansion copy Hearthstone Castle Carla Manor? I can't, I'm about to say Castle Nathria. I mean, that's what they copied, obviously. The name of this expansion refers to what happened in my first draft, meaning I got murdered, obviously. And then, Permadeath Dex Return in my biggest round robin yet. Magic the Time Castle. Too lazy to make some optimal gimmick decks. Just recycle one, every one you used before. And then... Can you feel the magic in the air tonight? No, because my hexproof is blocking it. Very funny. And then do you believe in magic? Because I'll need one I'll need it to keep these X alive. Okay. For whatever reason I just follow doing that. So this will be the last one for sure. And then next time we'll do the 10k draft. And then the time after that, I will actually try some other colors and other decks. Welcome back. Imagine having random numbers like that in your name. Zero, two, zero. I don't know why people do that. Not bad. How about yours? So see, we could ramp off of this. Let's actually take my chances. It seems dumb, but that makes you seem like a bot because you would have, you know, or, or there, that means there's not only 209 other space drifters, but there would have to be like in the thousands because why else would you put the zero at the beginning so it's more than 209 at least put 69 then we know it's just a joke this is one feature of the game that i really like that i feel like you can't do in a lot of other games or at least i never tried to where you can actually move this shit around did you tell people how to sell stuff <laughs> like what do you mean Tell people how to sell their gimmicks for the solar eclipse. Some kind of solar eclipse bumper sticker or some special glasses or something. I saw something to do with that actually. Oh yeah, you go to like Dairy Queen and they have like a eclipse, <laughs> eclipse special kind of ice cream that they're trying to sell you. Like you're really going to try to market it off of that. Okay, that would just be the cycling thing that I can do. So this is the rainbow dinosaur deck, I think, that I was using. Which means it's going to be even worse than most of the ones that I do use, but... Yeah, I love how everything turns into some sort of commercialized marketing gimmick that people do. Because... Wait, you should still be able to do it. Oh, no, because this one's only usable on dinosaur stuff. The mana that this one gives you. Which for the most part is pretty good, but... But no, that, that is hilarious how it is going to be like a Badlands West... Wild West themed expansion. 
to the extent that uh, whatever the next one is going to be. I would have never guessed it. Not saying that they own that subject matter, like, oh, only Blizzard can make a, you know, Wild West themed expansion in a card game, but the timing of it is uncannily similar. Or again, it's possible that these are ones that have been done in the past of Magic because it's been out for 30 fucking years, but still, I, I don't really understand it. What can we do here? Just keep beating him in the face. We should be fine. He's not really doing anything crazy. I wonder what crazy bot I'll play tomorrow. I'm still trying to cherry pick the lower rated ones, which there's no reason not to do that. Like we'll get to the tougher ones later, but I'm really milking it or taking my time with it. But... Is wasted. You cannot win. I at least won't do the ones that are like temporary for the month because then otherwise I'll never get through it because if I do four in a month then there's more than four so I'll never actually be able to do any of the other ones that are there forever you should actually be able to do this now you still can't do it how come one two three four five six seven wait that's not even correct one two three Four, five, six. Oh no, it's fucking nine. I can't count. So I'm cycling. Enters the battlefield. Plus two, plus zero. Indestructible. Whatever. We should just win there. Wait, what? Completed. Minus three, minus zero. Wait, what did he have that stopped him from dying? I don't even get it. Can be made to obey. Okay, this is still not going to be playable. This is somehow playable. Whenever it attacks other creatures, you can double strike till end of turn. Okay, he's going through a lot of trouble for that, but it almost doesn't matter. Or it must have just been that this had zero attack because... Okay, now how are you going to stop the one attack thing from killing you? What an insult that would be, too. He should be screwed. Come on, we have to win this one too because this is the last one that we have to keep alive. Yeah, that was a good first game. QQ will tap all your non-creatures that add mana and float it until you use. Proceed. Oh, that's even something that I was just complaining about. Like, or how I can't do basic math to figure that out for myself. Okay, should be good. It always seems like I stream super late, but it's not even that late for me. I'm just always so tired lately. Okay, this is not the greatest hand. In fact, it's really just not good. Fuck. Because I don't have the mana generating minions that I really need. So go ahead, we'll put out... This thing is always good to block, but I need a couple... Heritage or something of the sort at the beginning here. Oh, you ask and you receive right there. Okay, he's got off to a good start. It's going to be hard to match it. So go ahead, bring that out. What can sometimes wreck me is if they just have removal for all these 1-1s one and dinky things that I summon that give me mana. Like, you know, the elves and stuff like that. If they can consistently get rid of those, I'm never going to have enough land to do anything. Amazing how one-sided some of these matches are, but this is why the best of three is so good. Because, you know, one time they'll get a lucky start, one time you'll get a lucky start. But then you can't use that as an excuse in the long term. Like, it's always going to be... It's always going to be, you know, balance itself out. Kind of like college basketball versus, the, you know, an NBA series or something like that. Where it'll be a best of seven versus, you know, just one game so anything can happen. Oh okay, yeah, he said he was getting into the NBA a little bit too, Houston Rockets, but I think they'll miss the playoffs now. They they were on an amazing streak too. They won like 11 or 12 in a row, just like the last couple of months or something. And then they, 
but it still wasn't enough because they were so far behind. <clears throat> I remember so many people loved Houston just because Yao Ming was on there, so from China and stuff like that. Back in the day, or Jeremy Lin went to Houston, <laughs> and that obviously plays into it a little bit. I hate how Jeremy Lin tried to play victim though, like when his career was almost over. It's like he wins a championship with the Ra with the Raptors, even though he doesn't hardly play, and then he acts like, "Oh, my career is at rock bottom." That's like such a selfish thing. He got so much good media coverage and so much attention, right? All these kind of things. No, he's trying to act like, "Oh, boo hoo." That I won a championship and I had a decent career and I was a role player and now and I didn't even reach my potential that he potentially could have. He's like the Tim Tebow of basketball, but obviously arguably it's a little better because he had a couple better seasons. It wasn't just a one hit wonder kind of guy. You're really just going to have to set up the block here. You're not going to be able to do anything else. I mean, I'd like to still win this one, but we'll have another chance, even if I lose it. Yeah, that, that's not really what I do. <laughs> tell people how to sell stuff. It's more like, you know what I mean? They tell me what they want to... Games haste, destroy artifact enchantment. Um, you know, they want something done or whatever, like some logo or something. <sighs> yeah, I've never been either combination more tired and more trapped for time when it comes to streaming. Just in this last couple of months, especially. Because there always were those good periods, periods before where I would do it for super long amounts of time. And it wasn't like a big deal and I could still be working and doing other stuff and it didn't matter because... You know, I could go AFK here and there and I would somehow, it would be fine. You kind of take that for granted like... Sure, I might not go AFK as much anymore, but then I end up not really going for as long. So it's a small price to pay. Elusive. Now we gotta make that hex proof. This is fucking. They're copying Hearthstone. What better way to do it? Change the keyword for hex proof into whatever. So I can't really still do anything here. I just have to be patient. It's kind of a hodgepodge mess of stuff. Yeah, I've been kind of hard stuck at 1600. In uh, that little uh, chest journey. It's amazing how that always happens. I'll get to some sort of checkpoint and then I'll just get hard stuck there. Not because, oh, it's suddenly so much harder, but because of the psychological thing, like it's sort of like winner's burnout. Like you've done well and now you feel satisfied. You're not putting much, as much effort as, in as you were before. If only had, he had one dinky thing with flying, he could have ended this a long time ago. But I'm certainly not going to resign. Prowess, creatures with power less, can't block it. With power less, but what do you mean? Almost like you should have a lethal combination, but... Or a dinosaur, you control, deal damage to another target creature. Get rid of that one, I guess. Now you could do... No, you can't even attack with enough things to potentially pose lethal at all. How is he having this hard of a time just fucking finishing me off? He just doesn't have any face damage, I guess. But no, we almost want to lose to this one because we... Well, not really, though. It can sort of be triumphant and ride off into the sunset because next time I'm going to want to do the 10k draft... Although I always forget whether, oh, is it the first day of that? Or is it the, like the next Monday is when I'll play this. So will it be like, will it be the first day of the new expansion? Or do I have to wait a week and then it'll be, it'll be the, it'll just the last day before basically. We do actually win that and clutch that out. See, I might've actually resigned that game. 
normally if I just felt like, oh, you know, we're so low and we're gonna not have a chance, but he got really unlucky with being able to do phase damage or anything. Yeah, we would just go with this one and this will cap off the whole permadeath thing. At least we have one good performance there. <clears throat> there is some weird thing that happens in Timeless, like where it says, oh, you can use any card in the history of the game. Also, half of my decks were invalidated because, oh, this card is invalid. And it was almost a bug, or I just don't know how it works, like where it wouldn't show you actually what was invalid in the deck. It would say the deck's invalid, but then you would have to like manually try to figure it out and remove something and see if it would work then, or something like that. And of course, these rank match rankings are almost as bad as PvZ Heroes, like where it's crazy up and down, just like... You know... Very different than what you would normally see. So we have a lot of these, not only just rainbow dinosaurs, but very good ones with crazy effects. Almost like wind condition type cards that I normally don't like because they feel sort of too contrived that way. Like they're almost too strong or dictate the outcome too much by themselves. <clears throat> yeah, the number of crazy crossovers with this game never ceases to amuse me. Just, you know, they got Fallout stuff in there, which I don't mind. But I would much rather it be something that you can... Yeah, with gold or gems or something too. <sighs> Counter spell, okay, fine. That's the one element of blue that I like is the stuff that counters things, or more specifically hexproof that's sort of just immune to it, rather than the spells themselves that you you know, it's just an emphasis on magic in general for blue. But, take somewhere between a mage and a rogue in Hearthstone. In other words, my, like, my least favorite style of play with respect to, you know, that's at least one thing that they didn't. that they didn't copy in the sense of uh, from magic, assuming that magic actually works like this physically in real life and stuff. If you look at the priest class, where did they get that? Oh, like white is all about healing and buffing or something, right? In this game. But the one thing it's not about is like healing minions because you can't heal minions because they auto heal anyway. So it's like, you know, doing that element to Hearthstone is actually pretty good that they make the permanence of minion damage actually relevant because it's like if something gets hurt it actually stays hurt and you can whittle it down unless you heal it whereas here everything just goes to full automatically all the time so it just feels like it favors bigger minions a little bit too much even though i like that and that should benefit me I just don't like when these ones drag out so long. Like, whatever the outcome's gonna be, is fine. So if I could just get the... Get a couple more mana here. You have six out of eight. Then you won't have enough stuff in your hand to play. So it's like a good problem to have, but... You know, your hand, hand won't be full enough. For this Galta effect to actually be good. So, like, I was complaining. Oh, I barely got to play him. And then the one time I do get to play him... He doesn't, uh... Okay, see you later. I know. We need to move quickly. Uh... The one time I do get to play it, your hand's gonna be fucking empty anyway. Thanks. Yeah, I probably will sleep pretty soon, too. I'm, like, half asleep right now. That's been normally happening with Hearthstone more than anything. Okay, this would at least kill this. I sometimes just ignore the planeswalkers that have my own peril. <clears throat> oh, 
I've been trying to do this thing the last couple of days where like when I'm driving in my car to and from work or whatever, I'm like recording some sort of reaction, audio reaction to uh, so, some TV episode <laughs> that I'm watching. It seems like a fun kind of thing to do. Like if I'm driving for like an hour every day anyway, right? I may as well just like watch some episode of something I've never seen because there's so many things that I haven't seen. So it seems like an utterly ridiculous, stupid form of react kind of content but yet it's something that fits perfectly in with today's way of doing things there's one thing that cracks me up there's this girl's channel who i've seen where she's like i'm i'm reacting to jaws while on a boat or i'm reacting to blair Witch project in the woods like <laughs> she's putting like a proper theme environment let's react to airplane on a plane let's react to gravity and outer quick. space like what the fuck, dude? It's an interesting way to go about it, don't get me wrong, but it's just... It, it makes you question, like, where we are at in society with... With this kind of content. This would allow me to actually play that, so hopefully... We get something else big in my hand so we can play both of them... Together like that. I guess if we win this one, we'll just consider ourselves victorious because you get an emblem with whenever you're on a card exile, target permanent opponent controls. Whenever you draw a card. And of course that would bypass the card and tyrant's ability to do anything. Yeah, that thing had a pretty cool effect to it. Enter the battlefield, draw a card, okay. We don't have much time here, and he's going to keep stalling it out long enough to take advantage of that. We are actually going to lose, because I have no means of ever doing, like, any face damage. Or... Okay. That actually didn't seem necessary, because he could have just survived that anyway. Fuck. That happens to me a lot where I get sort of mana screwed. It's one thing to be like in Tom's egg mode and you sort of burn out, but it's another thing to, um, you know, just sort of get mana screwed and not have enough all the time. A lot of it has to do with my focus on minions in that regard. Like, you'll have a bunch of minions that give you mana, but then if you don't get them or if you can't, if you can't keep them alive, then you get screwed over. Okay, I think we get the point that this guy's gonna win at least this one. They copied Hearthstone on that one too. Yeah, that is so dumb that two expansions within like a few months of each other or whatever, two of the most recent expansions, they would uh, copy those so directly. Just in terms of at least the subject matter. Yeah, this guy's just gonna make this one take all day long, huh? There's not much I could really get. Like, I'm going to assume that I would have lost that one because I just don't have anything in my hand. Whatever I get with that wouldn't even be still that good, probably. What are all those sounds? What the hell is that? Hey, some creepy ambience in the background. That's the si sound of a clown sideboarding. And I never even have a sideboard to fuck around with. It's not even like, oh, I'm choosing not to do it. I don't even have that in there properly. Why does the screen have, have such weird, creepy sounds on it? Okay, so we're fighting for our lives here in this format overall. Not the least of which is with a good deck. But what we'll have to do is we'll exile green out of here. To the extent that whatever we use will not be green. And it might not even have green in there at all.
Okay, so here you can just go like that. That's one big missed opportunity of this game, though, as I always say, not just with the cosme cosmetics and the voices on them, like every hero having its own voice lines and stuff, even though they do in the form of the planeswalkers. What I will say is that you can, even emoting isn't fun because they're all like generic canned lines that are not, you know, something you could really take advantage of in terms of the lore and have kind of badass quotes and voice acted ones of that. Okay, come on. You can be sure that this guy didn't take a super long time no matter what happened. Oh, wow. I'm throwing on purpose just because I'm tired, clearly. Although, I guess you're... Oh, wow. I guess you're throwing just by simply using this deck in the first place. But the rainbow one does disappoint me a little bit. What the fuck? Well, we're almost making it too easy for him, but he's not taking advantage. Polluted Delta. Okay, I mean, we have a pretty good hand. Or imagine if I could play the Galta now, but I'm not going to have enough mana for it ever now. Yeah, this is the kind of hand you would want if you had him. Okay, so will we finally be able to actually fucking do something? Give me either land more or a mana generating minion or something lower cost. What the fuck is that, dude? I'm almost trying to let him win that means, but apparently everything in this deck is a super high cost, or I just don't have enough lands in there or anything. That is kind of crazy. Like four turns in a row, you're top decking something that you can't play when your hand is already. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting trolled because you might say that's indicative of some flaw with the deck. But I don't think it's that bad. Uh, what's something we can get rid of? It's just not very good. Uh, we're probably not gonna use that. Uh, yeah, who needs drunk streams? This is the new matter. Just do half a sleep streams, and they won't even be able to tell the difference. You fucking sound the same, probably. Okay, I'm getting actually trolled by the game. But no, we have sort of like the big three of these sort of uh, legendary crazy dinosaurs of different colors. So like every color has at least one really good notable one or something like that. Okay, we're probably going to lose. But you know what would be kind of cool if we got? It would be... Uh, that stupid ass if we get the gall to stampede tyrant now but i just don't see how i'm almost intrigued to play this out just to see like what limit of just drawing stuff i can't play is going to happen that's like five or six turns in a row like what the fuck is that you might think oh this deck just doesn't have enough stuff in there but it kind of does it would be like one short if he gets to do it again Expressive iteration. Uh, even when he wins, he takes so fucking long to do it, dude. Like, come on. I'm gonna give you the honorable kill that you deserve or that you want, but. Keep up the pace. Okay. Yeah, please put us out of our misery here. There's nothing I could play for like 10 turns in a row. 
that the permadeath gauntlet thing is officially over so again next time i'll do a draft and then the time after that i'll probably build some other deck of some other color just so that we can actually start using that and then uh i guess if next time you can't do the draft i always forget that actually whether it's the first episode i play since it comes out or or the sec like a week late so it'll be exactly the longest from my episode as possible or the shortest to it where it's like literally the same day that it happens within seven days like it says here and what else do we have basically just uh so we went through all those i could kind of go back and make a spreadsheet and really see which ones truly did the best but this one's always different because this time was going to show other things yeah, generally I didn't do too great with any of them, but again, most of them you could look at and see the theme of them is, oh, they're either green or dinosaurs or hexproof or whatever. So we'll have to actually move away from that as we do that. So yeah, next time the only thing I want to do for sure is the 10k draft. Okay, see you tomorrow.